Okay, so we've got this dive profile, or whatever, this little plan that we're going to do. And just so you know, Hugh explains this much better. I'm just explaining it in fake words that aren't actually true, but they help me understand what I'm doing. So basically, we're going to start out and have the thingy where we go, oh, okay, so I'm, this is me, and I do the first dive, and then I do the second dive, and then I do the third dive. And remember, we can get shallower generally as we dive, but we don't want to get deeper because that just messes everything up. So I'm going to go ahead and label everything. So I'm going to go 100 feet down. I'm going to be 15 minutes. My handwriting is not fantastic. 15 minutes and then one hour on the surface. And the next one is 70 feet down, 25 minutes below. Here, I'm going to make this 15 prettier because it's super important that my numbers are pretty. 15 minutes. Okay, so and then we are up on the surface for four hours. I guess we got lunch and had a nap. And then 40 feet for 45 minutes. Okay, awesome. I'm going to redraw this too just so it's a little bit clearer. So we did our first big giant dive and uh, yeah, and we're assuming that we haven't dived for like 24 hours, so it's, um, what do you call it? We're like a fresh, brand new diver at the beginning of the day. So it's been at least 24 hours since our last dive, so we're starting at a letter nothing, I guess you'd say. Okay, so the first one's usually pretty straightforward to do. Um, just to kind of, as a caveat, I made all the numbers on this example pretty. You always round up. So if you actually dive like 98 feet, you pretend that you dive 100 feet. And if you're out of the thingy or if you're down there for, you know, 12 minutes, you would round up to 15. You don't round down or to the closest, you always round up. So, but just to make less crazy thinking have to happen right now, I made all the numbers super pretty. Okay, so we've got, not that. <laughs> we've got, not that, let's try this again. So what we have is we have dived down 100 feet. Oh, oh, I'm just going to tell you, when I look at my dive tables, I scratch this out because even though I love math and science, this is too many numbers. And this is metric system and my little thingy on my scuba thingy says things in feet. So I just want to not look at stuff. <laughs> That's meters. All right, so I'm at 100 feet. So I'm looking at this column here. Okay, so I'm at 100 feet for 15 minutes. So this here is the square that I like. So 100 feet for 15 minutes. So that means whenever I come back up, I'm an e-diver. So we'll go, I'm an e-diver now. That's a terrible circle, but that's fine. Okay, so I'm an e out of A through L. Okay, so I'm going to keep going. And droopy, droopy, droop. And I come down here and I find the column here that has the one hour in it. And that's this dude right here. One hour. Okay, so I go this way. And now I'm a D diver. So I haven't really made a lot of progress. What is up with my circle making abilities today? They are not impressive. So we'll pretend this is a great circle. Look at that, that's way better. Okay, redeemed. Okay, so the way this works is you were only out for an hour and you went pretty deep for not super long, but kind of like halfway as long as you could go. Um, Cause you can see the max for being underwater is really only 22 up to 25 if you wanna do a safety stop. So we kind of went over half. So anyway, um, because we were only up for an hour, we didn't get to, I almost said bleed out the nitrogen, to, to dissipate the nitrogen from our bodies. Now, this isn't true, but I like to think of it as you're getting, you're still getting charged for nitrogen. You're, you're going in like already nitrogened out. Um, and because our next dive that we want to do is going to be 70 feet, I got to look over here at the 70. And I got to see where this and the 70 intersect. Okay. So you see there are two numbers here and it tells you at the bottom what those numbers are. So um, the number on the top 
is what's the uh, residual nitrogen time. That's like how much leftover nitrogen you still have from your last dive. That's not really true, but we're just going to say it that way because it's a little bit easier. So that's like your leftover nitrogen. And the number below the, the, the red number is the number that's like, this is as much as you can dive on your next dive. If this is how deep you're going to go, this is the most you can do. And you can actually see that's what I planned. I'm maxing it out. Um, so uh, whenever I come over here and I look at this, I've got okay. So I'm specifically going to look at, I think this is as zoomy any as I can get, but I'm going to specifically look at this number 20 here, okay? Because again, the residual nitrogen time is the uh, is how much I'm going in already. They're already charging me for 20 minutes before I've even started the, the dive. So um, here, my residual nitrogen time, so if you want to remember what these mean, this is over here, residual nitrogen time. My residual nitrogen time is 20 minutes okay um and i am going to add my actual dive time actual dive time which is 25 minutes and so that means my total nitrogen time is 45 minutes okay so i went only went down for 25 minutes but because i've already done a dive and because i went deep the last dive and i'm still kind of going deep on this time even though i went only went down for 25 minutes i got charged for 45. they might be like well wait how come we didn't add anything last time and i kind of skipped over because i didn't want to explode brains quite yet but the last time uh, in our previous dive our residual nitrogen nitrogen time was zero so the actual dive time, which was 15, meant that our total nitrogen time was just 45 minutes, uh, sorry, 15 minutes. Okay, so we didn't have anything. That's why we like to do our deepest dives first, um, because then we can be super duper duper careful that we're not going to go over and um, we're only getting better as we continue throughout the day instead of potentially getting worse. Okay, so residual nitrogen, da, 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 da. okay. So now I'm going to erase my little highlights because we're going to go look at this table again. And it's kind of nice because they have these little arrows that you can follow up and around. You can be like, oh, thank you. I'm going that way. Okay. So I'm here again now. I'm at the 70. So I was down for, now don't look up the 25. You want to look up the 45. So I was down here for 45 minutes. And that is the maximum that I really should be safely going. And remember I told you that over here, when we were at that number, that was that 25 is kind of how I put this problem together. But uh, the 20 plus the 25 makes the 45. That's the maximum amount of time you should really be down there. I mean, you can go up to 50, 60, 70, but you got to do safety stops and you're being a little like wild and crazy and, you know, running a little loose with, you know, nitrogen, which is kind of scary. So you just want to be careful. Um, but all that said, um, we're still in the good enough zone, but now we are officially an eye diver. So, eye diver. That's the wrong color. What will the neighbors say if they find out I used the wrong color on labeling my dive letters? So, I'm now an eye diver. Okay, now it's time for lunch. <laughs> so, I'm going to go have lunch, and I'm going to be gone for four hours. So, I now need to look in this column for where the four hours is. So, doop, 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 doop. keep forgetting that's as zoomy any as I can get. No! Okay, so here we go. Okay, so, doopy 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 doop, four hours. So the four hours is here in this section. Okay, and now we're gonna go over here. So we are now a sea diver. So we came back up, or not came back up, but we went from I, and because we were out of the water for so long, we're just a sea diver. Okay. Now we only want to go 40 feet, so that's a shallow dive. Our last dive, we just want to go look at pretty things and it'd be all colorful and be like, woo, look at the pretty fishies and just chill. We just want like a chill dive where we don't have to really super duper worry. We're just going to hang out at 40 feet. 
Um, just as a note, as a reminder, if you go to 41 feet, then you got to treat it like it was a 50 foot dive. But, you know, I digress. We're, we're going to be very, very careful not to go deeper than 40 feet. Okay, so that means I need to come over here and look at my 40 foot. Come down here and come across and see where they intersect. Okay, so they intersect right here at this dude. So you can see my max dive time, if I'm only going to 40 feet, I can actually go for 105 minutes. I'm only going for 45 minutes because I have other things to do today, like go to dinner, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what else I have to do today. Um, I probably would actually spend more time underwater, but it's a 45. I'm only going to go for 45, but I could go for up to 105. So looking at this, remember that the top number, and if you ever forget, it's okay because it's written right down here. The top number is your residual nitrogen time. So our residual nitrogen time is 25 minutes. Residual nitrogen time is 25 minutes. So we have 45 minutes before. Now based on how deep we're gonna go and how long we stayed out of the water, we're getting charged for 25 still. But remember last time we were only under for 15 and we got charged for 20, even though we waited a whole hour. So it's it's really about the depth that you're going and how long you're spending on the surface. So we had a total, whoa, we had a total nitrogen time of 45 minutes. And because we stayed out so late and because we're only going so deep, that means we're only getting like charged for 25 minutes of time. Okay, so our actual dive time, and remember anytime you forget what these stand for, you can always look at it over here. Our actual dive time is only gonna be 45 minutes. And so that means that our total nitrogen time is going to be uh, like one hour and something. Yeah, one hour and 10 minutes. Actually, I think all of this is just in minutes, so we're just gonna call it 70 minutes. Although you want to do like an hour and 10 minutes. Our total nitrogen time is 70 minutes. Okay. So this is our last dive. So I'm going to erase all this. Chirpy, chirpy, chirp. And again, you can go up and follow around. So what did we say? 70 minutes. So we're going to go over here. Oops, too far. We're going to go over here to 70 minutes right there. And we're going to go down so we're a G diver on our way out the door. So now when we come out, we're a G diver. And if we wait 24 hours, we're a nothing diver or an empty set diver. I don't know what you would call it, but we're done. Um, and we can start fresh all the next time. So essentially, this is how you can use the dive tables. The biggest thing is just to remember that the residual nitrogen time that you have is a function of both how deep you, well, of all three, of how deep you went last time, how long you stayed out, and um, how deep you're going next time. So however much you accumulated last time. But you look at it, and it's not immediately obvious, like, oh, well, clearly, if it was 15 before, it's 20 now? You're like, no, that doesn't make sense. But it just has to do with what's going on physically about how your body spooshes off the nitrogen and when you're going back down so quickly it's like oh man I didn't get to spooch very much off and so we're just we're just playing it super duper safe so um if you've ever got dive table problems when you're trying to find like well what's the maximum time that's that again you do the same thing except instead of looking at the number you can kind of look at the top number I mean sorry instead of looking at the top number you can look at the bottom number and that tells you the maximum amount of time that you can that you can uh, go up for. So hopefully that's enough to kind of get you started and somewhat familiar with how these dive tables work. And again, the biggest thing is you always want to be extra conservative. So if you're looking for the number 42 minutes here and you're like, oh, I don't see 42 minutes, but I see 50. Well, that's the one you're going for. If you're coming down, you're like, I don't see 71 feet. Well, you treat a 71 foot dive like an 80 foot. And that means like if you go down like, and you're like here, doo -doo 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 -doo, and you go like 80 feet, then the whole thing is an 80 foot dive. And that's how we try to keep ourselves safe. So hopefully that was helpful and um, woohoo.